Let's look at the screen together because the partial shot is up right now. Oh, there you go. Yeah. If you could describe and explain what's happening, Dr. Ramirez. So as we see right now, it's only a little bit of the, of the sun that is being covered. As we progress in the, in the next hour or so, the moon is cover, covering more and more and more of the sun until 1.40 when we reach totality. And uh, during this time, the shadows will look pretty cool as well. Can you talk us through that? Uh, that's right. If you are close uh, to trees, for example, that just filter uh, the sun and see the shadows, you're going to start seeing uh, kind of moon-like uh, <laughs> effects on the sun. Another way to see in it is with a colander of pasta that has many holes. And if you pro project the shadow of the sun on the ground, you're going to see one little eclipse for every hole in the colander. And that is actually something that uh, you can do at home with your children when they are playing around. And it's actually quite amazing to see. Wow. So the, the shadows will take on like a crescent shape. A crescent shape. Yeah, between now and totality. That is, uh, that is correct. And uh, uh, they can see it as well progressing and progressing because the crescent will become narrower and narrower at the time uh, passes until 1.40. Until totality That's at right. 1.40. And again, totality will vary across all of North Texas, uh, but as high as four minutes and 24 seconds in Ennis. Uh, all right, Izzy, what, what are you thinking right now? You know what I'm thinking is really what I asked Dr. Ramirez, just how this is going to inspire our future astronomers. And I'm wondering, you know, how many little kids here, as we're looking at them here at the Perot Museum, with their uh, protective eyewear looking up into the sky, who are saying, this is so cool. I want to see another one of these. And then that other one will lead to another one, another one, and an astronomer who will take us into the future, science-wise. Well, and in fact, we need so many children to go into sciences because we need talent to answer all the questions in astronomy that are coming up for, for the research that we do. So we actually need children interested in science to become scientists and help us uncover the mysteries of the universe. And I have no doubt that today will inspire so many of them to go into the sciences. And you know, I know Sean Giggy has been roaming around the Perot uh, Museum grounds. Uh, we have so many people that have already arrived and they're just spread out all across uh, the Perot. So uh, I believe we're going to Sean. Yeah, Sean, tell us who you've been talking to because there are people from all over the world here at the Perot. Yeah, we have been talking to people. I've talked to, to folks from uh, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, Wichita, Kansas, all over the place. You know, I, I almost didn't answer, didn't respond to you guys because I was looking up uh, th since the eclipse has started and I was a little bit speechless. And this is just the beginning. We haven't even seen hardly anything yet. We're not even close to totality yet. But there are some breaks in the clouds here. And I know we had a shot up a little bit ago, uh, our photographer Cody Markham. Kudos to Cody because he was kneeling down in the heat with hunched over trying to hold that shot. It is not easy with a huge camera like this. But I had my glasses on. I was looking up. The clouds have moved in the way right now. But you can see just a tiny start of like a thumbnail on the right-hand side of that, that sun. You can see the moon just starting to move in place. It's behind the clouds right now, so we can't see anything. But just that little bit we saw already, just that little bit you saw already, um, I, I, know, I know you're seeing the NASA feed right now of the sun. Um, and if you, if you just look at it, it's already captivating. I can't imagine what it's going to be like in totality. But all around us right now, people are starting to stop in place, which was expected. Uh, we're still, you know, about an hour and 15 minutes or so, hour and 10 minutes away from totality, and people are just stopping and standing in place already uh, to watch this here at the Perot Museum. So it's already captivating people. It's captivating me. I just wish these clouds would move again. It was looking wonderful a second ago. But, yeah, we, we have some kids. I, I had a two-and-a-half-year-old I was going to talk to, but she's enjoying the inflatables and the bounce houses. I was going to see if she even cared about the eclipse because, you know, kids and inflatables might be a little more interesting than an eclipse, but uh, I'll have to track her down and get back to you guys and see what she thinks, see what, the, see what our littlest ones, our littlest Texans think about this eclipse. I think the, the clouds have a break right now. I'm going to take a look at this again. Hopefully we got a shot for you so you can see the beginning 
of this eclipse. The partial has begun. Totality coming up in just a little over an hour. Looking forward to it. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right, Sean Totally at 140 with maximum at around 142 this afternoon. And what a cool shot of the partial eclipse already. I can't imagine what's to come. I know it, and it's only going to get better and better, uh, Izzy. And, you know, Sean Giggy is a huge space nerd, so I know he's enjoying this just as much as some of those kids out there uh, just here at the Perot. Giggy geeking out. We want to go to Brittany Moncrief. She's at Fair Park where we have another uh, total solar eclipse viewing with thousands of people. And Brittany, y'all are having a great time out there. Absolutely. The band just got started playing and we, we see actually a lot of the crowds that are up there jumping. But take a look at this partial eclipse that's starting. Look at it. Look at it. It's amazing. It's kind of, it's a little hard to see again because of the clouds, but the clouds are kind of going brushing right over. I don't know if you guys might notice like during the Halloween time where you get that that look where you can probably see like a, a witch going across past the, the moon or something like that. It kind of looks like that little shady. Oh, we lost a little bit of it. That's because of those clouds there. But we're hoping that those clouds move. It looks like they're steady moving. So we'll probably get another glimpse of it. But it's so amazing to see. Again, with our safe glasses on, it's amazing to see, you know, the sun up there. And you can just see like the edge, the little edge of the moon down at the lower right that's starting to make its way across the sun. And it's so cool, everybody. It's so cool cool to see this because hey it'll be hundreds of years before we're able to see it again here in Dallas so this is truly a big experience and everyone here is excited we've been seeing the kids put on their their glasses a little bit take them off and anytime the sun peeks through that's when they put the glasses on you hear the cheer oh look at it again oh that is a good picture right there look at that look at the sun and you can see down again again in that right bottom corner you can see where the moon is starting to make its way crossing in the path of the sun it has begun everybody it has started and it is amazing to see again uh, this mother nature mother nature is telling us what we want to see the show must go and go on she's giving us little glimpse here and there but you know what that's just another way for us to just appreciate <laughs> what is happening today on a day like this because this is just an amazing experience you know just to be able to experience this and experience it together and as i mentioned we have scientists from all over that are here in Fair Park. They're also tracking the totality path and they're here from, uh, I spoke to a guy from uh, um, Colorado just a little while ago and we were talking about just the path and the work that they were doing, the experiments that they were uh, that they were doing and they're tracking what you want to see there are the light rays that shine through past the sun. That's what they're looking at and it, again we'll be here. We're going to keep trying to get a little little peek at it as we keep going throughout the day and as we reach totality but we're going to send it right back over to you all at the